You know, a lot of ice fishermen are talking about batteries and battery life. It's a hot topic if you go on social media or do any of the above. Quickly break down some of these amp batteries. First and foremost, when it comes to lithium, there's a couple of key characteristics. Now you can go on their website and learn all the things you want to know. But for me, key characteristics, key takeaways, weight. These weigh a lot less than lead acid batteries. So if I'm hole hopping with my Vexlar, I have an amp battery in there. It's a lot lighter, it gives me mobility. In fact, I had one situation where my dad picked up one of my Vexlars with an amp and one without, and he set the one down and said, that one doesn't have a battery in it. I got a chuckle out of that. So the weight itself is a big deal. Peak performance on a lithium battery, you're gonna have peak performance really until this battery dies. So with lead acid, you're gonna see that performance decline uh, fairly quickly if you're on, on fish or fishing all day long. Where with this, you're gonna have peak performance the entire time. Longevity, you get a lot more time out of a lithium battery. So if I'm gonna fish two days hard, a little more peace of mind that I don't, don't need to put this under a charge to have continued success and performance. And the charging itself, I'm finding, at least in my best knowledge, that these charge pretty darn quick. So when I put these on a charger, it's amazing how quick they charge. The amped charging system works wonderful in kind. So other features of lithium for sure, but those are some of the ones Reader's Digest as an ice angler you really want to think about. Now behind me, you'll see there's all different sizes and shapes, and people are always asking, which one do you go with? Now this chart right here, they put a chart out, this is on their website, shows a great breakdown on the various types of electronics, your flashers, uh, your forward-facing sonars, your GPS units, on the types of batteries you can use. So it gives you a little bit of a cheat sheet for sure. For me, I'm running a 15 amp power in my Vexlar. You can certainly run, you can see a seven and a half, seven and a half, a 19, they will all fit in those cases. I'm generally running a 15 for myself. I can get plenty of use out of this battery. I'm not worrying about dying in a day of ice fishing. Now, as you jump up to like a 30, 32, 48, I'm using those more for my active target, my forward facing sonar. This is the exact battery I use on my forward facing sonar is a 48 amp battery. And the reason I like this is when I hit the ice, I turn on my forward facing sonar and I don't turn it off the entire day. Call me crazy, but that's just what I do. And I can fish all day with this and it doesn't kill my unit. To me, that's important. I'm not powering it up. I'm not powering it back on. I'm not turning it off. The 48's great. Now, if I'm fishing a GPS, I got a GPS rigged on my snow dog, you can certainly get by with a 30, with a 32, with something of that capacity to power a seven inch screen for a day of ice fishing. So there's a lot of different things you can do with these. So sky's the limit do some research there's a lot of great options out there from lithium amp makes one for about everything you can think of in the world of ice fishing so check them out and get set up with all the power you need for a day on the ice